this week, we've been talking about the armor of God. First of all, I'm going to get us started with some things. I'm going to show you some pictures. And I'm going to ask you what this protects you from. Are you ready to look at my pictures? Okay. What does this protect you from? The umbrella. What does it protect you from? The rain. Because if you didn't have an umbrella and it was raining, you'd get all wet, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do, you can tell me later. What does this protect you from? Sun It's who said it? The sun. The sun. It protects you from getting a sunburn. I know Harper needs to have on sunblock when we go out, right? It protects us from getting a sunburn. That's. I get, I get some yeah. What about this? What does this protect you from? Helmet. Helmet. On a bicycle. What about a skateboard? A scooter? Falling. Falling. From falling and hitting our head. Yeah. Yes. What about this right here? We'll seat talk about belt. that later, okay, Riker? Seat belt. What about seatbelts? What does it protect us from? Fall. What if we were in a car accident? Would the seatbelts protect us yeah. from flying out of our seat? Yeah. Right? And last time I forgot the armor. Oh, no. She forgot armor. to buckle. <laughs> I'm sure she remembered right armor. after she forgot. What football. is it? Uh, football. What is this in his hand? Not a football. Yeah, it's a baseball. He is the catcher. He wears all of this armor or his uniform to protect his head, to protect his whole body right here, and his feet and his knees. Because when they throw a ball 100 miles an hour and it hits you, it's going to hurt. And this one has a face mask on it too and protect his face. We're talking about protection. Did you know that God protects you? Yeah. He does. Do you know how we can learn how to use that protection? Yeah. This is some armor under here. And this is the type of things that they used to wear in Bible times. The Roman soldiers wore these to protect them. But we can pretend that we wear a helmet, an invisible one, because that is my first underneath here. This is called the helmet of salvation. And this is a helmet here. If we were to wear it on our heads, right, this would protect, this would protect our heads, right? It would. Yeah, this is just a child-sized toy one, though. But I have something down at this end that the Roman soldiers would wear to protect their heads. And it protects what's inside of our head. It's our, our brains. That's right. Do our brains sometimes think silly things? Does our brain tell us to do silly things? Sometimes those silly things might get us in trouble. Yeah. Well, sometimes... Sometimes those things, Riker, sometimes those things are because there's an enemy that makes us think those things. Remember how Adam and Eve were in the, um, in the garden? Yeah. And in the garden, who told them to take that apple and eat it? It was the sneaky snake. That was the enemy, but he also has a different name. He can go by the devil or Satan. I'm going to call him the enemy because he's not our friend. He's not Jesus' friend, and he's not God's friend, and he's not anyone's friend. He kind of sometimes makes us make bad choices. And if, and if we don't have the, say, helmet, say helmet, helmet. of big word salvation. salvation that means to know Jesus and ask Jesus in our hearts right if we wear this he's going to cover our heads and protect us from things that we shouldn't be thinking okay yeah that's right cowboys wear cowboy hats the next one I have underneath there you ready to see it okay this is the shield of faith Right, and this protects us from the lies of the enemy. Here comes, this is what a shield does back in Bible times. If there was fiery arrows that were shooting at them, they can knock them off with their shield. The enemy likes to tell us lies. Do you want to know what some of those lies are? Okay. This is a kid's shield. Some of the lies are, 
I am not good enough. Oh, I'm going to bounce that off. That's not true because I am good enough. Another lie would be I'm not fast enough. It is not true. I'm going to bounce that off. That's a lie. I'm going to bounce it off. I'm not smart enough. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to bounce that off. That's a lie. Because each and every one of you, God says, you are smart enough. You are good enough. You are fast enough. Because that is the truth. That's how God made you. This is the shield. Say it with me. Shield. The shield of faith. We have to know that Jesus put in our heart all the good things. And he knows how good you are. All right, here's the next one. Like Goliath. He wore the armor too, right? Here's the next one. This is a belt, the belt of truth. You know what the truth is, right? God's word is the truth. You know what a lie is? That's something that's not true. If we had a belt on our pants and it wasn't buckled tight enough and our pants were too big, what would happen? They would fall down. So we want to tighten up our belts and make sure it's on tight, right? If we have belts. <laughs> Because if it's okay if you don't have a belt, but it's the belt of truth. When we know the truth, let's pretend, let's buckle our belts up, and that's the truth. We know that we are good enough. We know that we are fast enough. We know that we are smart enough, because that's what how God made us. Right, Max? Yeah. The next one, I don't have, but I don't have the shoes, but this is called the shoes of the gospel. Okay, this protects your, see how it is here? That protects that part of your leg. What do we use our shoes for? Walking. Walking. Do we see other people when we walk around? Yeah. Can we tell other people about Jesus and how much God loves us? That's yeah. right. If we were to run, would we run faster in flip-flops or would we run faster in sneakers? Yeah. Right? It is. But you know what? God protects us, and he protects our feet from the trap, from the enemy, right? He doesn't want us to fall into a trap. So these are the shoes, say shoes, shoes. of peace, right? The gospel of peace right here. Okay, are, I can't put those on. They would not fit me. <laughs> are you ready for the next one? Okay, this is called the sword of the spirit, and you know what it says? The sword of the spirit is God's word. It's everything that's in the Bible. Are you ready to see the sword? This is God's word right here. Okay. This here. Words are very powerful. Can we say words that are hurtful? Can we say words that are nice? I'm going to ask you if you think it's nice or not nice if I use these words. Okay. If you think that this is nice, I want you to say nice. If, I, if it is not nice, say not nice, okay? Because words can hurt us. Did you know words that come out of our mouth can hurt? Yeah. Yeah. How about if I said the word ugly, okay. hurtful? What if I said beautiful? Nice. Right, nice. nice. What if I said hate, like I hate you or I loved you? That, nice. Those are nice. What if I said stupid or yeah. smart? Good. That's right. Those are not hurtful. And what about enemy or friend, right? The enemy, the enemy yeah. is not our friend. You are all of these things to God. You are, you are loved. You are beautiful. Did you know that? And God knows that too. You are loved and you are beautiful and you are smart. Are you ready for the next one? Okay, the next one here is called the, the breastplate of righteousness. Do you see this part right here? Okay, what is that part right there? Your heart. Our heart is right here. This is called the breastplate, breastplate of righteousness. Let's see. I can put it on. It goes over my head. Okay. So if I had something coming at me and hitting me right here, this is going to protect my heart, right? The enemy wants to hurt us, and our heart could get hurt. If someone hurt my feelings and said, Miss Debbie, I don't like your hair. It really doesn't look nice on you. That would hurt my heart. It would hurt my feelings. <laughs> That's If we have the shield, if we have the breastplate of righteousness, it shields us from that hurt. We know that that's not true, right? 
Okay, I have something to show you right here. I have two simple cups. Let me take this off. You didn't show us that. I didn't show you what? That big thing. That big thing right here. The belt? No. This is my belt. Remember we talked about our belt? Oh, we're, we're working down this way. We're going to pretend that this piece of paper is everyone in this room. This piece of paper is Xander. This piece of paper is Harper. This piece of paper is Joey F. This piece of paper is Riker. This piece of paper is Carter. This piece of paper is Lucas. This piece of paper is Xander. This piece of paper is Alessio. This piece of paper is Lilia. This piece of paper is Eliana. This piece of paper is Joey R. And Miss, Mo uh, Miss Marie and Miss Debbie. This piece of paper is us. If I put it on these cups right here, I have marbles here. Can you see this? It says weak. He's having a hard time. He's not strong. Do you think if I put this up here on you guys, you could hold him up? No. No. No, he would fall right off, right? He's not very strong, right? We'll try it again. Do you think he's weak? No. Do you think this paper is going to hold him up? No, it's going to fall right off. Now, what happens if I took this piece of paper and made it stronger? Do you know how we become strong in the Lord? Say strong in the Lord. Strong in the Lord. How can we do that? I like your muscles, Joey. I like your muscles. What if we pray? What are some other things that we can do to be strong in the Lord? How about listen to the Bible stories? Okay. How about going to church? Yeah. Yeah. How about believing in Jesus, how much he loves you, right? What else? Anything else before I make my last fold in this piece of paper? That's all of us right here. Um, um, that, that piece of paper. What do you think? Do you think we can become strong in the Lord by doing all those things? Okay, let's see what happens now. I have my strong person here holding the Bible because they've been reading the Bible. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to stay up or is it going to fall? Stay up. Is it going to stay up? That's right. It's going to, whoops. Fall down. It will stay up. I should have made my paper a little bigger. But by doing all of those things, we become strong in the Lord. Yeah. Here we go. How's that? Okay. We need to learn all we can about how much Jesus loves us, right? Okay. <laughs> Underneath here, when Jesus, when Jesus went to the cross, remember at Easter time, the Roman soldiers took him and they wore some heavy equipment. And one of the things, one of the things that they wore was a helmet, and it was something like this right here. And what they did was, yeah. <laughs> They wore this helmet, and it protected them. So just like the Roman soldiers wore protections, we have invisible protection. We can't see it, but God protects us with even without us knowing it, right? Can we pray about that, guys? Okay. I will show you later, okay? All right, everybody praying hands. Thank you. Praying hands. Here we go. Dear God. We thank you so much for your protection. And we are thankful that you are always there to help us. And we give you praise and glory. And all of God's children said, Amen.